Hi and welcome to my soul tribe. My name is Miriam Rose. This channel is dedicated to spirituality, makeup, lifestyle and sometimes commentary. Once in a while, not so much anymore. So please make sure to like, subscribe down below, make sure you ring the bell and set it on all, share my videos comment it's so important for me and also for my channel to get the engagement which i'm not getting as as much as i would like to because i do want to know your opinions and it's also important for the growth of my channel to get as much engagement as possible and also please join me on instagram for regular updates and please subscribe to my twitter because i would like to get the conversation going and now let's begin with the video i'd like to do a my go-to spring makeup routine on the 20th of march it officially became spring on half part of the world <laughs> not my half part i live in australia but uh, most of my subscribers uh, in springtime now so that's why I'm doing a uh, spring a daily spring routine which I would normally do this video was um, inspired by Ellie Glines I'm going to uh, list her her channel below so please go and visit her she, I follow her and I find her um, her makeup channel very interesting normally what i find with um, makeup creators is they start with moisturizers or primers and then the foundation and lay it all, all on in front of the camera um i just i just like to skip that step because i mean we all know how to put foundation on or bb cream on or whatever so i've i've got it on i will go through it with you though i start with the ordinary the vitamin c serum um, and i mix it in with uh, my moisturizer um, i guess i just take um, a tiny um, coin size of this uh, vitamin c cream and the rest I mix it in with the moisturizer and that's just enough that's just before I prep my skin so it's nice and plump and um, and it feels wonderful and also vitamin C is good for middle-aged skin because uh, vitamin C kind of t tends to take away your I don't want um, well i don't like using the word wrinkles your lines how about your lines i also prep my eyes with nyx eye prime uh, eye prep primer and then i go to my especially in spring when you like your skin to feel nice and plump i use this very moisturizing face primer by covergirl true blend it's my go-to i use it more than any other primer i've prepped my skin and i'm just showing you what i have done up to date and we'll do the rest together so uh being spring you kind of want a lighter foundation on your face you don't want to wear thick uh full coverage makeup um to cover everything you want to be breezy you know you want to feel the breeze so initially i start uh with a concealer and flower i is my go-to concealer for full if i want full coverage and this is full coverage concealer in fair it's got a pedal applicator there we go so i start off with a concealer which is a little bit different you know just to lay down the full coverage foundation first or concealer at this um, in this case and then i go in with a bb cream by lacura and uh, you wouldn't think this was light but this was a, this is actually shade light 
and it's got SPF in it so it gives you the coverage SPF 15 it gives you the nice coverage um, protection from this uh, from the Sun so that's all been prepped I've also prepped my eyebrows with my go-to everyday go-to elf uh, eyebrow powder in you can see the side that I'm using in medium shade medium I don't use the pomade I just use the powder side so that's all been prepped now I would like to get some under eye powder and I would like to have a nice now can you hear my dog in the background as soon as I start recording he starts he starts arcing up so you you know you can use banana powder or you can use strawberry powder in my case I'm using strawberry powder all the makeup that I'm using will be listed in the description below just under my eyes and you can see it's been well used so just to brighten my under eyes and to set this BB cream so it doesn't move I find that if you are fair skin like I am strawberry powder brightens your under eyes even better than banana powder with these days it's not um, very common to use anymore so these days people use translucent powder under the eyes but you know it gives you a nice under eye bright look and it's also set my under eye now we're going in with a mat mattifying compact powder by essence there we go to set the rest of the face a nice thick full brush what i did want to say before i started um, recording this video was the BB cream can be applied in a variety of ways and so obviously can um, foundation it's just that the BB cream is a light gives you a lighter coverage than your average foundation and it's lovely for spring you don't have to be fully mattified and fully covered so that's done basically my skin looks like skin it's not fully uh, covered with uh, full mat uh, mattifying which I normally go to mattifying foundation it gives you a nice light feeling on your skin the BB cream and you you know you feel like it's your sick second skin and obviously you can use any BB cream that's your go-to now the other thing that um, I did want to mention which I didn't mention in the beginning of the video is that you can apply your BB cream or your foundation obviously either with a foundation brush or in my case I applied it with a sponge or you can even use your fingers which I find takes for me it's longer because even when you use your fingers you still have to uh, go in with a sponge just to even things out so I prefer using the sponge and just to make it more skin like after powdering the face I just like to press it in with my sponge a very quick dab nothing too exciting and not too much just keeping it natural and lightweight so next I'd like to go in with my bronzer I'd like to use butter bronzer today by physicians formula this is just the bronzer um, I always use cruelty free makeup uh, but um, physicians formula used to be cruelty free and when I bought it it was cruelty free but uh, it's no longer cruelty free so I will be finishing off this bronzer and until they become cruelty free again I will not uh, repurchase it but I would like to finish it off um, so it comes with a mirror 
and the little sponge like applicator I don't know what you can do with that I guess just brush it on and um, yeah that's about all so going in with bronzer taking it on the brush bronzing brush here trying to keep it higher up the reason for it um, for keeping the bronzer a bit higher up your cheekbones is that if you if you bring it down all this way where you, your cheekbones lie it will drag your face down and who wants that especially not <laughs> at my age <laughs> i don't want that at my age but you know it, it's not a good look when it's dragged down too much so we're just keeping it higher up continuing with the bronzer it's a lovely bronzer i do understand what the hype is about what if what, how unfortunate that it's no longer cruelty free physician's formula because they come up with some excellent products just bringing it around your jawline down your neck a little bit on your chin keeping it nice and fresh just taking this brush here just for my nose area giving my nose a little bit of a definition making it look thin thinner than what it actually is just a little trick and spreading it out so that it's not too obvious down to the tip of my nose and just up into the brow area it's very important to not make it look obvious so it's good to spread it out just like so going in with your uh, sponge applicator again pressing it all in so so far it's looking nice glowy natural spring like and that's the look that i'm going for for spring just taking it into the hairline so there are no harsh lines when i think of spring i think corals to me spring uh, screams corals so this particular blush that i'm using by tarte called party is a lovely coral shade rosy coral comes off more rosy on the screen but it's got that coral um, shade to it taking a blush brush and just giving it a slight dust dusting some people like that um, very prominent br uh, blush look i personally prefer a more natural blush look but that's just you know everyone has their preference so you can comment down below and let me know your preference how do you feel about your blush do you like a very powerful moment or do you like a more soft gentle blush look i would like to know because everyone has their preferences there you go so nice and natural not not put, bringing it too far down keeping it up at the apples of your cheeks and here we go now as it's spring it's lovely to have a little bit of a highlighting powder shimmer i use one by elf it's got a lovely mirror to it there we go i can see myself in the mirror and that's by L. Just dusting it on, lightly dusting it on, giving it a nice glow in your C area. Since spring is all about gentleness, softness, highlight, 
we highlight and just giving it a press to mush it all into the skin making it all look nice and natural yet still glowy now highlighter I'd like to go in with flower beauty probably my one of my most favorite brands um, from the drugstore and I'm going to mix these two shades together for highlighting so just mixing them together brushing it off brushing off the excess that just gives it a nice glow to the cheek too probably a little bit too much so taking it with my sponge I would like to put a little bit of blush here yeah because I think I went too much there we go that's a nice glow just to highlight there we go and slightly on the nose pinching the brush together so making it a nice fine line and a little bit on the tip there we go for a drugstore um, highlighter it, it performs incredible in 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 any case even if it wasn't a drugstore fl flower beauty highlighter it if it even if it was a high-end highlighter it would still perform incredible because have a look at the beautiful glow that it gives you and it's so natural it's not like um, that why it doesn't give you the white cast now for the fun part which i enjoy probably the most and a lot of people do i, th I think a lot of people a lot of people enjoy um applying eyeshadows <laughs> the most i do i don't know so as i said for me personally spring screams corals so these are the shades in the back and this is the front coast to coral by ColourPop, and here we are looking at nice neutral corals and a nice gentle color scheme here and the color combination uh, the color story it it really makes sense to me it makes a lot of sense to me it's still neutral it's still coral and it's still very uh, spring-like breezy soft gentle uh, feminine so let's begin I'll just take this shade here just to start applying it on my lids perhaps it would be best to make sure I don't have any crease lines on the uh, from the concealer just applying this on my lids wow it's so peaceful so peaceful right now my doggy went to sleep we went to the vet today because he gets his um, well he he was getting his uh, weekly arthritis or anti-arthritis injections now I'll go into this beautiful pink coral shade here uh, because um, you, you might have seen my other videos but not everybody watches all my videos so um, Louis, my dog he had a cruciate ligament injury on his knee and we were already planning for unfortunately which was very scary for us because it's a very painful operation um, from what I was told we were planning on and we already booked for surgery for him which I was trying to avoid at all cost um, but you know it took close to three months uh, with the, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to spread this out. Uh, so it took almost uh, three months 
over well over two months uh, with arthritis injections anti-arthritis injections and also with um, keeping him still and quiet and not moving too much and all of that it took him that long to heal on its own so that was a miracle and um, and uh, the vet said gee you know he's so happy he looks much happier today than I have ever seen him in the past since his injury uh, which he happened at, at the park when we took a walk in the park a dog ran up to him and jumped at him from far away and he jumped on the side where his hind leg was like on on his back and it, he kind of winced and w went down and from then he, uh, he started limping and his uh, back leg was shaking so he was in pain and that's where our troubles began so i did all i could to make sure that taking this shade no you know what i'll take this shade here so i'm i was making sure to do everything um by the book and what the vets were telling me and he's still on anti-inflammatory medication every day just making sure that he's not in pain because he was in pain unfortunately they did have to do um, x-rays on him they took x-rays and we thought at the same time he could do with teeth cleaning so poor baby that was you know they had to put him to sleep and that was a very painful procedure for him so now he's so afraid to go to the vet because dogs remember everything absolutely everything so i'm just cleaning off the brush and we're still staying with the same brush and um, just putting this shade in the corners and um, now when he sees that we're going to the vet he starts shaking from because they hurt him there he he suffered after that procedure i think it was the teeth cleaning because they said they go under the gums you know just to make sure they clean them properly but it was a very um, painful procedure for him um, I guess not while he was under obviously not while he was under but certainly when he woke up and you know he was very dopey for a while for for a, for the whole night he was crying I nursed him you know I sat with him and I looked after him uh, the whole night but the next day he got better and he f he was happy again and his teeth was cleaned and we found out what the problem was uh, that he he started having arthritis from the injury so um, and his bloods came back all negative so he was all, he's all good but looking after a dog for me he's part of my family for me he's like my fourth child because i have three human children so for me personally having a pet like any kind of pet is they're a part of your family and if you make the commitment of having a pet you need to make sure you look after them um, because they only have you to to lean on and to rely on so I'm taking this shade here with my finger the shimmer shade here look at that that's beautiful anyways and then before I fit before I end one story and begin the other story so after he was seen by the vet and and the vet was very happy 
and everything worked out well and you know he wasn't in pain nobody hurt him uh, he wasn't suffering um, he always knows that after the bed we go for a walk like straight after the bed so um, we went for our walk but what happens because he got so frightened from his painful procedure from before he will go straight away from the vet and he will keep walking but when it comes to coming back to the car meaning coming back next to the vet he just <laughs> puts his bottom down and refuses to move because he thinks we're going back to the vet instead of the car and there's nothing I can do. Like I give him, I'm just cleaning off my brush. I give him treats. I, you know, I, I tell him we're going to see David, my son. I'll just use this shade here in my inner corner. Um, and that, it, like it worked for a while. Let's go and see David worked for a while, but he's not silly. So it's not working anymore. So I actually had to carry him to the car today and I did my back. I did my back in. So what can you do? What can you do? You do anything for your animals. Okay, so here we have a NYX chopstick um, in white. I just want to give my eyes a pop of color which is a bit too much of a pop. I find white on its own is a little bit too much in your face. So what I do, I tend to mix it up with a different shade afterwards. And here I have a beautiful shade by Colourpop, which is a coral shade. And I put that over, over the white and it gives it a nice pop. And at the same time, it's not so much in your face anymore. That's how I like to roll. Tell me if that's what you do as well, or you just go straight in with one color. I guess it all depends. I would like to know in the comments below, but I guess it all depends on how much time you have to play with your makeup on the day. And today we have plenty of time. We are not in... Well, I'm not... <laughs> I'm, I have plenty of time. You may not. So. <laughs> okay, for the under eye, let's go in with this shade here. I just like to keep it nice and um, soft and natural today because it's a spring look. And to me, spring screams soft, softness and gentleness and corals. And, you know, I feel that summer screams pinks and lilacs and pastels so we're not there quite yet but i like this spring look and then i'm taking a brown again by flower girl because i think they're the the best eyeliners that i have come across in brown it's a twist one just for the eyeliner upper eyeliner keeping it soft i find that black is more harsh and more in your face than brown even though it's a deep oh smudged even though it's a deep brown the other day i was doing a makeup routine and i kept referring to a to a neutral brown as a chocolate brown the whole day because I bought my children easter eggs and I kept thinking of chocolates. Okay, so I will finish off the routine of the camera from away from the camera because it, it's going to get boring and uh, I will show you what I have used and uh, when I come back my entire look will be finished. And finishing it off with a nice set it well it's morphe x jeffree star but what i like about this setting spray is that it's um nice and lightweight it's the, it's just a, a light mist 
which is lovely. Mm. Many people hate the smell. I, I don't mind it. I, I find it quite nice. So this is my natural spring look. What I did use off the camera, off camera, was a um, an eyelash primer by Designer Brands, which is an Australian cruelty-free brand. And uh, be for the sole reason that Warrior Princess Flower mascara is very wet. And if you've been with me for long enough, you know how I feel about wet mascaras. I don't love them. <laughs> and I finished off with a Ofra liquid lipstick. And I will put the shade of this liquid lipstick down below with the rest of the makeup that I was using. So that's the final look. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment down below what your favorite um, spring look is. Cosmic kisses to everyone. Bye for now.